Alright guys, so I recently got this uh, Easy RC Glacier and it's a great truck. It's really fun, it's uh, got really good control on it, it's got a nice servo on there, but it has a couple issues. And one of those is that being so long, uh, it looks awesome, it's really scale, but the, the breakover angle on this thing and the ground clearance on this thing is absolute garbage. I mean, I can only fit two fingers under the frame rails, which is very, very low. So yeah, let's uh, give this thing some more ground clearance. It's also gonna boost your uh, departure and approach angle, and it's gonna give let you use a little bit more of your suspension travel in the rear. So let's get started. All right guys, so let's get this thing lifted. But first I want to real quick show you guys um, what it's like right now as is, and then we can compare it to after it's lifted. All right, so that, yeah. That's where it kind of suffers from its really long, really long frame and really kind of low center of gravity. And right here, it's getting stuck. I centered on there. There it is, getting it centered again. Yeah, so just doesn't really have what it takes to get over there very easily. So that's that's where this lift is gonna come in handy, but you can see if I get it right, you know, and I get give it a little punch, it will make it over that. So as you just saw, quite capable truck, um, really fun to drive, and got over some pretty good obstacles. I also forgot to uh, forgot to show you guys that it can climb a 62 degree incline. 62 degrees, that's insane. So now let's uh, get it lifted, hopefully. Once we lift it up, we'll uh, be able to get over that rock and do some other cool stuff. Although I am curious to see how much more easily it's going to flip over once we do this. So the front, pretty simple. There is the top shock screw in there. You're just going to want to take that off. All right, so now screws are off. I want to now securely mount them i'm going to mount them right around here so just get a drill with a tiny drill bit make sure it is smaller than the screw is so that you can have threads all right got a little hole drilled in there so now let's uh screw shock back on suspension it's working just fine and holy cow guys that is definitely more uh, ground clearance <laughs> let's get the other one. Oh yeah guys you can see that it's squatting now <laughs> oh yes this one's working just fine. This one's a bit stiff for some reason. But hey, I just this is just an experiment for now. Just want to get them where I want them and then I can fine tune stuff later. So now I got to get off the bed. Got to unscrew the front shock. Alright, 
So here we go. Got a good little glimpse of this tiny little motor in here. So let's get these shocks off. So for the back, I don't think we're even gonna have to drill holes. I think I can just unscrew this. And then I can get a nice screw, a little washer, and just screw the shock into there. All right, so I'm just gonna shave a tiny bit off of the frame right under here to make room for the shock. Looks like that's gonna fit a little bit better now. All right, that is very stiff. These shocks are just very stiff from the factory. So if you do this, I'm probably gonna wanna replace those with uh, front shocks later on. All right, wanna make sure that the drive shaft's on there. Let's get this other shock on here now. Same thing, just gonna uh, grind out a little slot for it. I don't wanna tighten them all the way up because I want them to have a little bit of give so that they can move around. But holy cow, guys, that is very, very stiff. Oh boy. This is not going to crawl very well at all but it is going to look absolutely ridiculous so it's worth it right oh man it's got basically no suspension flex at this point yeah it's definitely not going to be good this is i'm just doing this for fun guys if you want to have this thing maybe be a shelf queen you just want it to look cool or maybe you don't really care about the suspension flex or the performance, then yep, you know what, go for it. But it's just not, it's not worth it if you're trying to get some decent performance out of the truck because it is just so stiff. I mean, holy cow. Like, if you replaced the rear shocks with the front shocks, then you'd probably be okay, but at that point, you might as well just get longer shocks and lift it up if you're gonna be doing this anyway. Oh my gosh, guys, that is... That suspension is so useless. So, yeah, as you can see, the rear is just way too stiff. Look at that. <laughs> Absolutely useless. The front is soft, and for some reason, it's. It feel, I feel like it actually dampened it a little bit because it's not quite as bouncy as it used to be. From. And it still flexes pretty good, although on this side, it's basically binding itself up completely. Like, see, now it's not even moving anymore. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm actually going to cut off a couple coils from here. And I'm going to cut off a bunch of coils from the back shocks because they're just way too stiff. All right, guys. So I finally got one of those cut off. It's a bit softer now, but it's still really stiff. And it's, all, it's just because of all this suspension linkages and stuff being on this side. It just makes it really, not really stiff, but it does flex a little bit better now. And we've got some droop now as well. So that's always good. So for the rear shocks, again, I'm just going to cut off a couple of those, a um, couple of coils and uh, yeah, hopefully that'll make it a whole lot softer. So let's get the wheel off of here too. All right. So, uh, yeah, I got it. I had to, you have to stretch the spring out a little bit. So what I did was I took this bottom cap off, this bottom uh, spring retainer off and popped the spring off and just pulled it, stretched it. Um, and yeah, I think you gotta do that because if I hadn't cut off that many coils, it would still be stiff because it's still stiffer than the front shocks because the coils are stiffer, but this really does help. I really think that this is going to feel pretty good on here.
Oh yeah, it's definitely better now, for sure. So let's get the other side off now and do the exact same thing. All right guys, so I got them all cut down and yes, it is definitely a bit softer now still kind of stiff though you can see that one's down to like three and that one's down to like four or five uh, you should probably keep six six or so maybe seven yeah i cut it off too much but it's definitely better now i mean it's still pretty bad flex but it's at least it's there, you know. Let's see what happens now. And, uh, yeah. All right, so here we are again. So here's the part that it really had a hard time on before. Still struggled a bit. But definitely not as bad as it used to. Definitely a little bit less of a struggle. All right guys, so there you have it. Um, it did do better over that one rock, I think, but its main advantage over other crawlers is that it has a low center of gravity and once you lift it, that low center of gravity kind of goes away. So I really do think that you need uh, softer, longer shocks if you want to lift it. So I bought these to try out and I'll be trying those out in another video but yeah like the problem with just lifting this one is that it's so high but even when the suspension is fully compressed like there's still so much room under there so i think that i need to move it over a little bit maybe to maybe to right here or so and uh yeah that would that would make it uh that would lift it a bit and I'd still be able to utilize all my travel. Yeah, I think this is a fun little thing to do, but really, like, if you want your truck to stay pretty realistic and you don't want to ruin your shocks or anything, then it might not be the thing for you. Although, if you're trying to get more performance out of it from the back suspension stock, then yeah, you should probably cut off one or two, maybe three um, of those little shock coils because the rear is supposed to be stiff so that you can tow stuff but if you just want to crawl it then you know you can cut off a couple coils i cut off like more than half of the coils so yeah i kind of stretched those coils out pretty far also i uh i lost the screw for this shock uh, I, I didn't screw it in far enough so it it popped out while i was driving it it's not a huge deal, but again, it's just something that's annoying. And I think that lifting up the suspension just a little bit might, you know, give you a bit of performance, but not this much, not to this extent. But yeah, guys, that was how to lift up your EZRC Glacier. Was it worth it? It depends. I had fun with it, so that's always good. Um... So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing and liking the video and I'll see you guys on the next one.